What is up guys? So today's video, I wanna show you the, if you haven't already seen it, the 2019 Ram 1500. Uh, there were some leaked photos. It's supposed to be re being released on Monday at the Detroit Auto Show, but I guess uh, some pictures got out of what it actually looks like at the factory. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys those pictures. I know most people following along on this channel are fourth gen guys, so I wanna show you guys, if you haven't seen it already, the truck, but also more importantly, I wanna hear you guys' opinions in the comments below on what you guys think of this new, I guess, fifth gen, if that's what we're calling it, and would you give up your fourth gen for the fifth gen? So let's go ahead and take a look at those pictures. Okay, so here's the picture of the Ram 1500. You can see it just sitting in the factory here, along with some sort of phantom or ghost-looking thing on the right-hand side that a bunch of people are cracking jokes about on some of the forums. But anyways, you can see the mirrors don't look like they've changed from the fourth gen mirrors. Basically, you got the standard tow mirrors on there, so that doesn't look like that's changed, but the body obviously has changed quite a bit. So um, to me, this kind of looks like almost like a 2500 front end, even though it does say 1500 on the, the badge on that hood. But I mean, that front bumper almost looks like a heavy duty bumper. That's something you would see on, on a 2500. But let me know what you guys think, because I mean, it's even got tow hooks on the front of it. And even most fourth gens don't have tow hooks on the front, except for a 2500, of course. So I know a lot of the 1500s don't have them. And, Definitely the sport models don't have them. Um, what do you guys think of the hood? I mean, the hood definitely has a lot more contour than it did in the past. Um, it's got almost kind of three levels to it, it looks like, as opposed to uh, the fourth gen one, which only had kind of a two-step or two-stage hood. Uh, I think the biggest thing is the fact that this front end kind of looks like a uh, Toyota front end. So. I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, let me know again what you guys think in the comments below of this front end. Okay, so you guys saw the picture. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You can Google the same picture, but I just wanna show you guys for those who haven't seen it. But I did wanna use this view just so I can kind of point at some different things. I'm not that technical with this stuff yet, but uh, I wanna show you guys, this is the part I'm not too fond of, is this kind of weird piece of plastic that's between the headlight and the front bumper. So I think that's kind of odd. This is very Toyota looking. Um, and again, the tow hooks, uh, this looks like it's maybe a heavy duty model or whatnot. Mirrors are the same, rims, they're whatever. I mean, the rims, there's probably gonna be a bunch of different options, but primarily the three stage hood where it's got kind of this level, this second bump, and then this last bump, that's, uh, that's definitely new for, for I guess fifth gen, is that's what we're calling it. And I don't know how I feel about this grill, this, there's kind of this piece that kind of sits between the hood and the actual grill itself, this big chrome piece, which I'm sure is gonna be different for the Laramie models versus the other ones. So this picture isn't too new. Um, we haven't learned anything new because this was the picture that was out before, which was by Motor Authority. And this picture basically showed um, the same thing, nothing new. So again, you guys can see the exact same thing, but this is what I meant by the three bumps in the hood. Roof line looks the same. Mirrors look the same as the fourth gen. Obviously there's some different shape in the doors. And I think the rear tailgate is obviously different. So it's got uh, definitely some different shape on the rear tailgate for sure. The tail lights are very Ford looking in my opinion. And yeah, this is kind of the weird shape that we got. And you can kind of see they've almost provisioned it to have say Ram here. Cause it's got this kind of bump that goes down and I'm assuming they're gonna put Ram really big across, across the back here. So. Um, one thing that I thought was interesting was the fact that they did this. They don't actually seem to have cutouts in the rear bumper the same as they do on our current fourth gen. So for the exhaust, and that looks very Raptor-ish to me because I think maybe, this is just my assumption, you guys can correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that um, Dodge probably has some sort of patent on having cutouts in the rear bumper of a pickup truck because every other company hasn't done the same as Dodge has. And the Raptor Ford, of course, they put the tailpipes below the rear bumper. So um, I haven't seen them do that. And I think this is probably an interior picture of the new dash. So this is kind of what the dash is going to look like. Sorry, guys, I know this is small, but um, I guess this is what the dash is going to look like on the new one. So I believe it's getting a bigger screen. And of course, it looks similar to the fourth gen now, but of course, different. You can see, of course, the same knob on the dash for the different uh, speed, but there we go. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed that quick little video. I know there's not too much and the, the images aren't that great, of course, but they are spy photos. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below of that fifth gen Ram and whether it's something that you would sell your fourth gen for at this time. I know even when the 2009, the fourth gen came out, I didn't really like it compared to the third gens, but once they came out and the sport trim started coming out, that's when it grew on me. So I'm guessing it's probably gonna be the same with that fifth gen, but 
from those spy pictures it looks like kind of like an HD model or something that they're showing us so far but I want to see what the sport's going to look like with the color match bumpers and how that whole front end's going to fit in and I, then I'll think I'll have a better judgment on whether I like the new new truck or not but again let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and we'll see you in the next video we're going to be doing a lot more so I have a lot more LED stuff and, and other things on the way too take care